going on guys? My name is Trevor. Welcome back to my channel. Shang-Chi and the Legend of Ten Rings finally hit theaters, making the brand new MCU origin story. We're going to rank all the MCU origin movies or the solo introduction film to our characters inside the MCU from the worst to the best. I counted. There's 12 of these movies. Movies like Spider-Man, Homecoming, Guardians of the Galaxy, and Black Widow. I'm going to include on this list just because they are like the introduction kind of solo movies to our characters. Counted. There's 12. I got my list from online. Comment down below your guys' ranking and let me know how it compares to mine before we get into the video make sure to hit that big thumbs up button and the red subscribe button down below with all that said let's do this and one final thing there's gonna be some hot takes in here this is just one man's opinion let's keep it friendly people with that said let's do this so starting off at number 12 probably to no surprise the incredible hulk this seems like the black sheep of inside the mcu just because it's so different and dark and a character that isn't the character we have now edward norton whatever really did it for me as bruce banner as a hulk he never seemed like the smart witty guy that mark ruffalo always did after seeing mark ruffalo so many times you just like him more than we do edward norton but the end fight between Hulk and Abomination is pretty damn sweet. At number 11, Captain Marvel. I'm not a big Captain Marvel fan, and these are two of my actually least favorite MCU films. And the first time I watched Captain Marvel inside the theater, I thought it was an okay movie, but the more you rewatch it, the more it just doesn't hold up for me, especially with little things like not adding up. And that's what happens with the origin story, like a prequel before all these other later movies. If you're gonna have these things that happen later in the movies that happen in your film and kind of where they came from, it has to add up with later movies especially Nick Fury's eye at one of the time it was funny oh wow that's cool but really it just didn't really sit that well this is definitely not Brie Larson's best performance makes Captain Marvel seem kind of unlikable and nothing from this movie proved to me that she'd be able to take on Thanos that's all I'm gonna say. Number 10, Doctor Strange. I don't know what it is. I'm just not a fan of this movie. I can't get into it. I just rewatched it for the second time a couple days ago before filming this video and it didn't do it for me. I felt myself hard to be invested in this story. Doctor Strange is this douchebag character that you can't really get behind at first. He goes and learns all these things along. We go on this journey with him. I think the visuals are stunning. The production of the film is visually pleasing, but the movie itself never grabbed me, pulled me in, and I can never really relate to these characters. And throughout the whole movie i was hard to focus and it was really hard to stay awake on this rewatch not a fan of this doctor strange movie i love the character later films but as a solo film not for me but number nine thor another this movie isn't as bad as everyone says definitely has its early mcu vibes a lot like phase one does but chris hemsworth coming in we don't really know much about him i know he's a star trek he comes in this film he kills it. Getting to learn all this history on these like viking god characters is so interesting to me seeing thor go from being like a prince on asgard to coming out and being humbled out here on earth is so cool to see the visuals don't hold up all the time but these characters of thor and loki and Odin. It's really awesome to go back and rewatch this movie to see how far their characters have come now. Go back and see where they started, who they were, what they were about, and what they are about now. Honestly, the rewatch I gave this film, it really went up on my list. So, hot take incoming right now. Number eight, Captain America, the first Avenger. I can't get into this movie the way I want to. It's still solid. And the first episode of the show, What If, I think really helped this movie. But for the fast forwarding montage through World War One or World War Two, never really did it for me. The thing that took me out of this film the most was Captain America going on this tour. I honestly hate that and it makes me just so angry that this is in the film because it just seems like such a waste. The end battle fight scene with Red Skull and everything honestly it seems kind of anticlimactic but the beginning is where it really gets me seeing who steve rogers is this scrawny little kid with a lot of heart but not a lot of brawn that was always so cool to me and watching this recent episode of what if made me kind of go back and think about things i liked in the movie and also things i didn't like seeing bucky die obviously come back later in movies but i'm not a big first avenger guy i really wish i was this rewatch didn't really do it for me either i love the beginning second and third act not so much. Number seven, Black Panther. I started my MCU origin story rewatch with this one, and I think it's a solid film. I definitely think it's a little slow. Visually stunning, Chadwick Boseman kills it as T'Challa, and this world of Wakanda is absolutely beautiful. Killmonger is a solid enough villain. I always like Ulysses Claw a little bit better than Killmonger in this film, but Killmonger and T'Challa's fight scene at the end is so cool to see. Wakanda is such a extravagant, beautiful place, and the production design for it is absolutely fantastic. And every time I watch the movie, it's gonna hit hard now, especially with Chadwick Boseman. Rest in peace to the beautiful man, but Black Panther 
it's solid. Number six is Ant-Man, and I always forget about this one, but it's like such small stakes, and that's what's so cool about it. It's like they're on a train at the end of the film for the end fight scene, and that's what's so cool. It's a little like toy train, they're running around, and they seem so fast for them because they're so tiny. But overall, this movie is so inventive, and it's like a criminal, a heist, who turns into a hero. That's what I like about it. When I first watched this film, I was just jaw dropped to the floor with Paul Rudd, the charming Paul Rudd. This movie's funny, it's witty, it's very small stakes, and I like a good movie like that. Ant-Man's fun to rewatch. Not one I rewatch all the time, but every time I do, I enjoy it that much more. But number five, Black Widow came out just a couple months ago. This isn't an origin story, but it definitely is a solo film. We get to learn more about her past in this film. The only problem I have with prequels is the stakes are so low and nothing's really gonna happen because we know our characters make it out. But this movie really works off its supporting cast from Red Guardian to Yelena. Taskmaster is one of the worst villains inside the MCU, but these supporting characters make this movie so much more enjoyable. I've seen it twice, don't love it the second time as much as I did the first time. Still a solid movie, awesome action, and it's a really lackluster villain. Really cool to see Natasha Romanoff sent off. Never gonna see Scarlett Johansson in Marvel movie again. It's kinda sad. Number four, where the MCU began, Iron Man. I like this movie a lot. It is in my top 10 MCU. I don't love it like most people do. I wish that I did. I just don't. The first Iron Man is solid and everyone loves it. It's like probably everyone's favorite origin movie, not mine. I love it a lot. Think it's a great movie. I think Iron Man, Robert Downey Jr. is a perfect cast to play Iron Man, Tony Stark. So cool to see like this, not smaller stakes, but to see how smart this guy is to create the first Iron Man suit. It's badass, it's action packed. It's really funny and it's really the like, perfect start for the MCU and see how far it's come. It all started with this film. So whenever you go back to it, gotta applause it because I mean my goodness it started what we love today number three one of my favorite spider-man movies spider-man homecoming not an origin story but like a solo introduction film kind of to where this character inside the MCU uh, we've seen spider-man so many times and a spider-man solo movie so many times so what are they gonna do different I think what they did different was absolutely fantastic Tom Holland is my favorite spider-man I think this movie works at every single level has my second favorite villain inside the MCU the villains great the overall like Tom Holland spider-man running around trying to hide it and Ned becoming the guy in the chair and then leading on to MCU Tom Holland this Peter Parker seems like he's gonna be the forefront there was no way home coming out I just love this one so much more it's probably a top five MCU movie I literally love it that much number two Guardians of the Galaxy what a movie a weird clunky group and James Gunn does it beautifully they're so funny they're it's action packed it's so weird and different no one really knew exactly who these characters were I certainly didn't and seeing how they become and how they are now later in the MCU this this movie is awesome it holds up it is one of my favorite mcu movies it is a top four favorite mcu movie for me from peter quill to drax to rocket to Groot to gamora even to nebula these characters are awesome the stakes are all-time high i think ronin's a solid villain trying to go and undermine thanos i think it works for this movie i think it's action-packed and they become a family at the end when Groot says we are Groot," never thought i'd cry because the tree was dying but hey it happened it happened but at number one shang chi and a legend of ten rings i can't get enough of this movie i've seen it twice now upon filming this video i absolutely love everything this movie has to offer the origin story aspect a good origin story i'm a sucker for them and this one is a great one it starts off so awesomely they get to know these characters with the backstory then dives into who our character is the fight scenes in this are crazy the kung fu martial arts style is awesome the use of slow mos is crazy second act slows down a little bit too slow for me but the third act picks up when he's yelling is this what you wanted dude it's awesome it's action powered i absolutely loved it the ending the third act is crazy with these dragons attacking each other my goodness everything about this movie worked for me it's one of the funniest mc movies it's shang chi is one of the coolest characters simu liu can we be friends please i absolutely loved everything this movie has to offer it is one of my favorite mcu movies now probably in my top five it is my favorite MCU origin story. Join me down below in the comment section. How is your guys' brain can compare? Hit that thumbs up button for me. Hit that subscribe button for me. I got some hot takes in here. I don't even care. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.